most of Earth's human and animal populations have been annihilated by sightless extraterrestrial creatures. The creatures, which attack anything that makes noise, have hypersensitive hearing and indestructible armored skin. Evelyn Abbott, her husband Lee, their deaf daughter Regan, and sons Marcus and Bo silently scavenge for supplies in a deserted town. While out in the open, the family communicates with sign language. Bo is drawn to a battery-powered space shuttle toy, but Lee takes it away due to the noise it would make. Regan returns the toy to Bo, who also takes the batteries that her father removed from it. Bo activates the toy when the family is walking home and crossing a bridge, giving away his location to a nearby creature which kills him before Lee can save him. Over a year later, Regan struggles with guilt over her brother's death. Evelyn enters the final stages of pregnancy, and Lee fruitlessly tries to make radio contact with the outside world. Lee attempts to upgrade Regan's cochlear implant with scavenged miniature amplifiers to restore her hearing, but the devices are ineffective. Later, Lee takes Marcus to a nearby river with a large waterfall to teach him to fish while Regan visits Bo's memorial. Lee explains to Marcus that they are safe from the creatures in the presence of louder and constant sounds as the sounds mask over their voices and do not attract creatures. Marcus then reveals that Regan blames herself for Bo's death and needs her father to tell her he still loves her. Alone at the house, Evelyn goes into labor. While making her way to their basement, she steps on an exposed nail. In pain, she accidentally drops a glass picture frame and alerts a nearby creature. Evelyn flips a switch that changes the exterior house lights to red as a danger signal to the others and struggles to remain silent during her contractions. Arriving at the farm and seeing the lights, Lee instructs Marcus to set off fireworks as a diversion. Arriving at the house, Lee finds Evelyn hiding in the bathroom with their newborn son and, along with Evelyn, makes his way to their improvised soundproof basement. Lee leaves to find the other children, promising Evelyn he will protect them. Evelyn then falls asleep, but soon wakes to discover that the barn basement is flooded with water from a broken pipe and that a creature has found its way inside the basement hideaway. Regan. Hurrying back to the farm, takes refuge atop a grain silo with Marcus, lighting a fire to alert their father of their whereabouts. However, they run out of lighter fluid and the fire dies before they can attract Lee's attention. A hatch door then suddenly gives way and Marcus falls into the silo. The sound of the door falling distracts the creature that was stalking Evelyn and it targets Marcus and Regan. Regan, who has jumped in after Marcus, sinks into the corn and nearly suffocates, but Marcus saves her. Regan's cochlear implant reacts to the proximity of the creature by emitting a high-frequency sound that drives it away. The children proceed to escape from the silo and reunite with their father. The creature returns, attacking and wounding Lee, while Marcus and Regan hide in a pickup truck. After seeing his father wounded, Marcus shouts impulsively, attracting the creature to the truck. Lee signs to Regan that he loves her and always has, before yelling to draw the creature away from his children. The creature, hearing Lee's voice, attacks and kills him. Regan and Marcus roll the truck down a hill to escape and reunite with Evelyn and the baby at the farmhouse. The four retreat to the house's basement. When the creature returns, Regan, who realizes that the sound made by the implant distresses the creature, switches the device back on and places it on a nearby microphone, amplifying the feedback. Painfully disoriented, the creature exposes the flesh beneath its armored head, allowing Evelyn to fatally shoot it with a shotgun. The family views a security camera monitor, showing two creatures attracted by the noise of the shotgun blast approaching the house. With their newly acquired knowledge of the creature's weakness, the members of the family arm themselves and prepare to fight back.